So the bad thing about smartphones is they chew through batteries, but I wanted to show the uh, roaches that I got from Beetlebugs, Critters.com. Uh, this is the bag of large water crystals I got with it. Here's their cool little packaging. It's a unique idea, really smart. Keeps the bugs separate, keeps them from too much. Uh, helps prevent them from getting banged around in the box too much. And it looks like it's be pretty easy to take apart, so let's see what happens when we take them apart. This is my starter colony. I made a small order from another company, and just only about 30 bugs in here. They're all breeder adult size, but uh, I really didn't know what I was getting into when I first started, and I decided I would get some more. Let's take a look at this. Take the top. That's kind of cool. Alright. Nice looking male. There you go. Kind of jump. Nice thing about these guys, they don't fly, they don't run that fast. In general, they're pretty laid back. They don't like the light, but there is. 37 or 38 females and 20 males in here. Just gonna take these out and let them a little bit of damp moisture, but that's expected from humidity and whatnot. We live in a really humid area. There's the rest of the ones down the bottom down here. <laughs> what remains of an orange? <clears throat> These guys tend to clean those oranges off pretty good. Nice thing is, is that the overcount, like many places that I've seen, or, and even the place that I ordered my first ones from, their overcount doesn't consist of itty bitty quarter inch nymphs. Their overcount actually consists of full size adults. So let's get these guys down in here. After a lot more homework, I decided that about the best size to uh, start the colony off is about 200. You'll have to excuse the parakeets in the background, they decided to go on a tantrum. Alright, everybody off the cardboard. Let's get this old cardboard out of here. Nice looking females. Looks like a younger one there. There I go. Everybody's hiding. Ah, not on me. Go. Oop, one more. I ordered 150 females and 80 males. Came in four different bottles, so nobody was too crowded. Same kind of deal here. Another 37 or 38 females, along with 20 males in this bottle. And everybody down. There's treats down there for you guys. We'll get them. Definitely improving the uh, starting size of my colony. Holy cow. These guys will be bearded dragon food eventually. Got five dragons. Yeah, looking a lot more full now. I really like this packaging. It's a whole lot nicer than the surprise opening of a box and finding a whole bunch of roaches straight in there. A little jumpy guy. Really healthy looking, really active. Orange peel out there. Well, looks like we got some live birth going on.
Listen, got an egg sack. Everybody out. Check for make sure there's no juveniles inside. And last one. Looks like we got some pretty young adults in this one. Still just look like fresh molts from not too long ago, just change color. Tape residue. Not bad. This is all from doodlebugscritters.com. Working with Debbie over there. She owns and runs it. Got some nice starter kits. You can order any size nymphs. Got uh, pretty good prices too. Some of the best that I've come across. I've looked at probably a hundred different roach sites. And I liked hers the best. She works with you. To get out whatever deal that you can work with her as far as, you know, making sure you get what you need. Everybody off the cardboard. Come on. Let go! Big female. There you go. They don't climb on plastic very well, but they love to stick to your fingers. Oops. Don't need any escapers. I don't know what I have a crazy fit. Mm. Oh, a couple more. In the box. In the box. All right. Good deal. That's all from DoodleBugsCritters.com. get established in a few months we'll start seeing a lot more nymphs in there. I love some oranges and some chow.